Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, yet again. Second video, and <laughs> yeah, it's already past, it's a quarter to seven, and um, still in the process of uploading day 12 for the 24 days of tea, but I'm here to shoot Thirsty Thursday and upload that right after so folks, we're kind of straying from water because we finished out Topo Chico. The trilogy is done, it's said, it's complete, and we can move on to other things such as International Delights Frosted Sugar Cookie Coffee Creamer. This is the second to last creamer I have in my fridge. And I've been waiting to try this for quite some time now. Um, ever, ever since I saw it, like, last year, I'm like, ooh, frosted sugar cookie. Um, and then when I saw it at the time, I didn't have enough money to get it. And then this is a seasonal flavor, so it only comes around um, fall, winter. So, shoot. By the time I was like ready to purchase it, it was long gone. And um, fast forward to today, here we are. I have the frosted sugar cookie. So I'm kind of stoked, ladies and gents, on um, trying this flavor. So before we get into that, one, oh, well, uh, to keep in mind, I have my iced coffee. Yes, I'm drinking iced coffee. And yes, coffee, but it's decaf. So no worries. I always have some decaf on hand because, you know, if I have the taste for coffee or if I'm doing a Thirsty Thursday at night, which shouldn't be the case, but no, I always have some decaf coffee just for... If I want to enjoy the taste of coffee and not be bouncing off the walls. Because to have caffeine at this time of day, I ain't going to get no good sleep. Or I ain't going to get good sleep. So, with that out the way, um, nutrition facts. Here we go. This is uh, 63 servings per container. A serving size is one tablespoon. I usually do three or four of them, so, mm. so yeah, the cup of coffee would net me, at the most, 140 calories, or 142, if you want to count the coffee. So, calories per serving is 35 calories, uh, total fat is 1.5 grams, saturated fat is 0 0.5 grams, trans fat is 0 Polyunsaturated fat is zero. Monounsaturated fat is 0 0.5 grams. Cholesterol is zero milligrams. Sodium is 10 milligrams. Carbs, five milligrams. Dietary fiber, zero milligrams. Total sugars, five, uh, five grams. Uh, of those sugars, five grams are added. Zero grams of protein, of course, you know. Uh, vitamin D, zero, calcium, zero, iron, zero, potassium, zero. Ingredients are as follows. Water, cane sugar, palm oil. Um, contains 2% or less of sodium caseinate, which is a milk derivative, dipotassium phosphate, carrageenan, mono and diglycerides, natural and artificial flavors. Sodium sterol lactate salt. And then sodium caseinate is not a source of lactose. Contains a milk derivative. And it's produced in a facility that processes tree nuts and soy. Yeah, as soon as I open this, I open this. I open this, not my mother. I did. So we're going to enjoy this for the next two weeks as... Uh, mentioned on the label you want to enjoy within two weeks of opening the bottle so we're Gucci this is gluten and lactose free which thank goodness for lac <laughs> lactose free creamers 
Um, also, non-GMO project verified. Um, yeah, the flash is on because it's so dark in here. And I'm wearing a black shirt, so that doesn't help. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, um, my history with International Delight, y'all. Um, you, you see me try a few flavors and, you know, I'm eager to try this one. This is no different. Um, you know, some were hits, some were misses. And I'm not afraid to call it as is. Oh, price-wise. Um, I got this on sale at my local Winn-Dixie. Um, it was like three for ten, I believe. That's why I had so many of the, um, International Delight flavors. So here we go. I just eyeball it. And that's about how much I use. So that is usually three to four tablespoons. I just air on the larger side and say that's four tablespoons just enough to turn the coffee like a nice beige color and this is all i prefer in my coffee no nothing else to sweeten it just the creamer sweetened creamer Alrighty, folks so here we go this is my iced decaf coffee with a hint uh or not hint but with the helping of frosted sugar cookie flavored creamer, a seasonal creamer from International Delight. Cheers, y'all. It's definitely reminiscent of a cookie. <laughs> I definitely get that flavor that you know it's one of those professional baker made um pre-made you know like how your local grocer has their bakery section make cookies that's what this tastes like it's not overly sweet however y'all this flavor it's executed well by international delight it's just that, like, French toast and sugar cookie, that's not really limited to, um, year-round. Or, excuse me, that's not really limited to the holidays. You can have French toast any time of day. You can make sugar cookies any time of the year. So, I think this is an odd flavor to just restrict on the season, the holiday season, rather. But, I mean, it just tastes like a regular, old, like, basic cookie-flavored, um, cookie-flavored coffee creamer. In the case of International Delight's Frosted Sugar Cookie, out of my rating scale of good, okay, bad, I would rate International Delight's seasonal flavor of frosted sugar cookie a good it's still good i like the flavor it's just i find it odd that it would they would limit like a flavor like this because you can make sugar cookies any time of the year like i've been saying but you know that's that's up to international delight you know i'm not gonna knock them this is a good flavor though um but like i said if you like this uh, coffee creamer as much as I do, but, you know, it's not the season in which they're producing this flavor. Well, just as a suggestion, pick up Walmart or Great Values own Danish butter cookie because they pretty much taste one and the same. Um, yeah, I mean, the creamer, it tastes like a cookie. I don't know about it being a frosted sugar cookie, but it does taste like a cookie. It's just like, I don't know, maybe a blank cookie slate or something like that. Like, it's not like their Oreo or... Did did International Delight do a Chips Ahoy one one time? Or am I hallucinating? That might have been in the past, but I thought they did that. 
along with like some other flavors like other like popular cookie flavors and this was probably like whew, probably like when I was in high school which was like early 2000s so <laughs> I don't know like it's not like a distinctive cookie you know but it does give me a cookie taste and hey I would definitely like I think of this like my dessert of sorts like I get frosted cookie frosted sugar cookie excuse me let me get the flavor right but I get frosted sugar cookie teas in my decaf coffee which I can enjoy and not feel too guilty about yeah it's 140 calories for four um teaspoon or tablespoons excuse me and uh 20 grams of sugar but hey eating cookie eating one cookie can uh amount to that or worse you know what i'm saying so i'm not i'm not too <laughs> i'm not gonna rag on um this flavor too much but you know taste wise i think it's good and um would i get this again sure you know come season like come like next year season time whatever because now that i have this i don't really have the urge to have um the cookie flavored creamer anymore but if i did i would get walmart's creamer um to satiate between the non-season times but um yeah international delight this is a pretty pretty good flavor pretty good flavor um, I would get it for next year when y'all have the seasonals up again. So yeah, another good, another good one, another hit from the International Delight line. Um, yeah, so that's gonna do it for Thirsty Thursday. Oh gosh, y'all! I hope this comes out at a decent hour, but I'm really doubting it because of how slow the internet is um uploading um the tea video that's going on right now so still i hope you watch and enjoy and enjoyed watching me make this video as much as i enjoyed making this video any questions comments suggestions or small talk don't be a stranger leave it in the comment section below any and all are welcome greatly appreciated love to hear what you have um your thoughts and opinions on coffee creamers like what's your kind of coffee creamer i know i've been doing a lot of international delight because um well i just said earlier in the episode that they were on sale but um you know i i am gravitating towards going for other coffee creamers like like i said before i really wish um international delight kept their simply pure line because i would feel more comfortable buying that However, however, um, it's not lactose free because they, they make it with real milk. So, but I mean like their competition has plant-based, they have an almond milk based creamer. They have a coconut milk based creamer. They have, um, one where they combine half and half and it's unsweetened unfortunately, but I'd take that definitely and there's also other companies that um uh, manufacture you know dairy alternative creamers so i mean hey international delight i'd love to see you try your hand at a non um dairy but natural not this i mean this is fine because it's lactose free but i would like to see maybe um, almond milk or coconut milk based um, uh, coffee creamers if you're so willing and bold as to try it you know I would definitely buy it and try it out but yeah y'all I gotta edit this video and start uploading this one so can't really ramble on too long all right y'all so take care take it easy Make it a great day today and every day. I will see you tomorrow for um, day 13 of the th 24 days of tea. Got the numbers mixed up there. 
but it's okay. And um, Friday's from Florida. Unfortunately, it's looking like a no, y'all. It's looking like a no. So, um, definitely might have something to, or probably something um, next week for Fridays from Florida, but can't really um, do anything tomorrow except the day 13 of the 24 days of tea. But yeah, y'all, still fun to do these videos. Really appreciate you watching them and, you know, leaving comments. And um, definitely will get to everybody. If, I don't care how long it's been. I really do appreciate you leaving comments and telling me, you know, your favorite things and whatnot. And, you know, despite my schedule and, like, I'm not able to focus 100% on YouTube still i read your comments in passing and i you know some of them make me smile some of them uh i do just want to respond but i forget at the moment but still it's all appreciated and i will see you in the next video so until then my friends this is sasha signing off bye now